the sovereign grant stood at £85.9 million in the year 2020-2021, equivalent to £1.29 per UK taxpayer, but a majority of voters expressed their wish to decrease the Queen's budget in a new poll. In a poll of 3,436express.co.uk readers, held from January 7 to 10, 58% of voters said the royal budget should be decreased, compared to 41% who thought it should not, and 1% of voters were not sure. One reader, Alf, said, they are not worthy any longer, the monarchy has had its day. People are having to choose between food or heating. Whilst royals have become a decadent, corrupt family of self-entitlement at taxpayers' expense. Alf and many other readers were infuriated by the Queen's decision to go ahead and honour Sir Tony Blair with a knighthood. A voter nicknamed London Town said, I did love our Queen Elizabeth, but after giving Tony Blair a knighthood and the royalty scandal, I am afraid I have got no time for the royal family. While another reader asked, for what purpose would anyone want to pay for the upkeep of one of the richest families in the world? But Her Majesty's fans leapt to her defense, riled and ready for debate. Mitchwell remarked, leave our Queen's money alone. She's worth every penny. Whilst another reader argued that the royal family has brought in far more money and trade than any company representative. They added, they, especially the top-ranked, can speak to the highest-ranked person in any country, selling our workmanship and gaining the trust of overseas companies who will then go on to buy from us. I'm an ex-lorry driver, now a pensioner, but you won't find me complaining about such a small amount as £1.29 to keep one of the greatest royal households in the world going. Of course, I am not a traitor. The £85.9 million sovereign grant covers official travel, property maintenance, and operating cost of the Queen's household. The sovereign grant is provided by the Treasury, and in exchange for this public support, Her Majesty gives the revenue from the Crown Estate to the government. This amounted to £345 million in 2019 to 2020, more than four times the amount taxpayers spend on the sovereign grant. The Queen, 95, also received approximately £25 million from income raised by her private estate, the Duchy of Lancaster, in 2019-2020. Buckingham Palace alone, with its 775 rooms, 77,000 square metres of floor space and swimming pool, costs £1.1 million per year to power. 